Hello everybody, it's Friday, I think it's, what is it, June 7th, and I'm here, I'm at Toronto Animal Services right now to pick up Darla, she sees me, <laughs> there she is, she's in the uh, dog, uh, dog adoption room at um, Toronto Animal Services, so this is live everybody that you're experiencing with me right now. Um, I'm just going to get all the leashes paraphernalia here <laughs> that I brought with her, for her, and uh, when we come in, here I go. Hi, sweetheart. This is the first time I'm meeting Darla. Oh my god, look at you. You're so cute. Hello, honey. Hello. Hi. So they tell me that you're doing great. You feel so much better now that that eye is removed. So it was like a you know, a, a, a severe uh, glaucoma situation. It's basically a dying eye. So there would have been pressure in that eye. She would have been uncomfortable. And, uh, hi baby. So, so it's good that it's gone. And we thank Peter Copeland for that, Dr. Peter Copeland, for removing the eye. I'm just gonna take her out. Hi, this is the first time I'm meeting you. And I brought you way too big a buddy belt. Cause you're just, <laughs> you're tiny. I thought you were like a big girl. I was all wrong about that. I was all wrong. I sure was. So I love you already. <laughs> there she goes. She's just going to waddle around. Look at the, oh, she's got the cutest little butt. She's got a cute butt. You guys have to see this. Well, you are seeing it because you're experiencing this with me. So anyway, a storm is brewing outside. I want to get her in that vehicle before it starts to pour. And I got to get her to our uh, Beaches Animal Hospital for just the final workup that she needs. She doesn't need much, um, but she needs her heartworm preventative. Yes, you do. And you need um, a fecal test. And what else? Is that too much information, everybody out there? Anyway, here she is. Here's our one-eyed wonder. We love you already. And to everybody out there, I just want to, I want to thank you so much for always supporting us, because this is what it's all about. This is my favorite part of rescue is is coming in and getting them and saying this is the beginning of the rest of your life so um thank you to everyone you know where i need to work harder on is finding wonderful foster parents that's where i need to work harder because if we could have more foster parents everybody we could save more lives it's just so frustrating sometimes when you have the means um, after such a successful fundraising event, you've got the finances backing you up. You just don't have enough dedicated, committed foster parents. We've got some wonderful foster parents, but they get full really fast because they're, tr they're carrying the load. And we need more. We need more people to take beautiful girls like this home and love them. We cover everything. We do all the medical. All we ask is that you provide the love and the nice comforting doggy bed and the roof over their head and food in their bowl. So it's it's really a win-win situation. So rewarding. I love you. I love you already. So listen, I'm going to I'm going to sign off cuz I got to get her back to our vets before it gets uh, that that storm starts. So thank you to everyone and and look at Dinah says thank you so much. Rover and out for now. We'll see you soon. <laughs>